Good morning, Southern Alberta. You're listening to 1159 oh. OWC Radio. 7 a.m. This, this is morning. Doug. No Doug is a creature of habit. North, he gets up at the same snow, time every day and goes about his routine world. as a salesman the in Lethbridge. Like most people, Doug takes water totally for granted. Doug doesn't know it, but today, he's going to make a change. Today, he's finally going to understand what stuff he's made of. The pattern of ocean temperatures disrupts the typical flow of air in the atmosphere and relieves chilly Canadians with mild winters. But El Nino alone doesn't explain the big spike in our temperature. According to University of British Columbia climate scientist Rick Donner, the reason that it's breaking temperature records is because you have the El Nino event on top of the fact that the planet is slowly warming. El Nino would mean a mild winter in a lot of Canada. El Nino plus global warming means a record-breaking warm winter. And that is just a taste of things to come, he said. In another report... Ah, the Old Man River. It just keeps rolling along. From the headwaters up in the mountains to where it joins the bow out past Tabor, it's 362 clicks long and is everybody's cup of tea. 95 cubic meters runs under the iconic high-level bridge per second. It's quite a sight at 7.30 in the morning, especially if, like Doug, you haven't had your cup of tea yet. It's straight to business for Doug and into an iconic Lethbridge establishment. Restaurant owners can count on about 35 litres of water used per customer. And here's the most important person in this restaurant from our point of view. Hey Braden! With each dishwashing cycle, about 15 litres goes down the drain. A garburator would send gunk straight into our wastewater treatment plant where people have to work hard to make it clean again. Oh, thank you, Angel. What a lovely perk. The hum and buzz of our growing city in the prairie. Prairie means grassland. Grassland means semi-arid. Semi-arid means between 10 and 20 inches of rain a year. That's just like the African steppe with its elephants, giraffes, and lions. The Australian outback with kangas, crocs, and the death adder. Or the black sands of Kazakhstan where silent snow leopards, red bears, and wild boars still roam. Roam? Like, like give me a home where the buffalo roam? You mean like bison? Our bison? Lethbridge is expecting about 2,000 new citizens every year and they all expect to turn on a tap and have access to world-class drinking water. People expect the rainwater to simply wash down the drain and they expect the dirty water to magically disappear the same way. They also expect to be able to use the river for recreation. Satisfying all those expectations happens here in City Hall. Hi Doug, great to see you. Hey, go ahead, it's the best water in Canada. Believe it or not, Hi. Doug's got an idea for a present for his favorite grandma. Hi, thanks for coming in. I'm Shannon. A Frank, quick hello first to Environment Lethbridge. Were you looking for one of our vests? Yeah, those are nice looking vests. That emblem is too cool. The ah, there's right what here. you want. An awesome looking mug. She'll love it. And where's your favorite OWC's place executive director, Shannon Frank, likes to talk to people about their favorite place in the watershed. The Upper Old Man. Great fishing and the birthplace of our drinking water. Even though Doug lives in the city, he loves our backcountry. Hopefully you'll learn a thing or two about what it takes to protect it, and our drinking water, 
while he's here at the OWC. Doug, snap out of it. So what's for lunch? A hamburger? Okay, 62,500 liters of water to grow a burger, plus 83 liters for the bun, plus, or perhaps roast chicken? 1,961 liters of water to grow one pound of chicken. Well, plus 49 gallons for that glass of wine. What's the special? <laughs> Say, those 12 Harambe grandmas need a lot of glasses of water and cups of tea. What? No lunch? Oh, how sweet. There's hope for you yet, Doug. These fields account for a huge portion of southern Alberta's economy. 816 million cubic meters of water on average per year is pulled from the old man to grow fries, flowers, and cornfields. There's at least 150 liters of water going down the drain right here. But that's a third less, actually, than washing it by hand. Plus, the water from the car wash gets treated before it goes back to the river. So good for you, Doug. But your ride was looking pretty clean already, just saying. Back home, 5 p.m., as usual. But there's something unusual going on here. Doug is making a change. I guess he got the message. We are all made of water, and we are all downstream. <laughs>